old are you? I'm 11. You're 11? You're in the fifth grade? Okay, let me ask you something. You don't mind, right? This, this is going to be on YouTube. You don't mind? <laughs> you want to be on YouTube? I want to be on YouTube. Now, I'm going to ask you, do you like math? Yes. Okay. How you in fractions, do with fractions? Do you understand fractions? Yes. Okay, which is bigger? One third or two six? One third. One third is bigger than two six? Now, are you sure? It's two six. You're guessing? Yes, I'm sure. Huh? Yes. You're sure? Okay, and I want you to write down one third. Stop! One third. Write, write down that as a fraction. Write two six. Okay. Now, do you know something about these two numbers? Um, they're equivalent. They are equivalent. You use a nice word, equivalent. What does equivalent mean? Equal. Sir. They're equal. See? So that was in a way I tricked you, didn't I? Right? They have the, they have the same value, but they're just fractionally different. Right? So now, this here, in fact, this next question is going to be the, the, the challenge of the day. We're going to see if you can do it. If not, we're going to challenge all of the people that are going to see this to see if they can do it. Okay? Two numbers have a sum of nine. And a quotient of two. What are the two numbers? Four and two. Okay. Now, let me see if you can figure that out. What's in your thinking? What, how, what, how are you gonna? What's your strategy for solving this question? How do you know it's addition? Because some um, circle that. Beautiful, beautiful. Circle that. Okay. What she did was she looked at the question, right? She saw the word "sum" in there. When she saw "sum," right away she knew it was what kind of a problem? Addition. That's one. Okay. See what else you're going to use to help you solve this problem. Tell us what you're doing. Division. How do you know it's division? Because the quotient is the answer. Beautiful. See what your lovely daughter did? She, she looked at this, this question. She saw some first, so she knew it's going to involve an addition problem. Then you see what she did? She circled quotient. And she knew that quotient means it's going to be a beautiful. Now let's see if you can get the two numbers. Okay. Which one's the best? Nine is six and three and five and four for the addition. Okay, now look at the question. Look at the question. Can you stay still? How many numbers are we talking about dealing with? Two numbers, right? Yeah. And these two numbers should equal what? Nine. Okay then. So, give me two numbers that equal nine. Six and three. Write it down. She says six and three. Now, make it, is this the answer, six and three? Yes. Why? Um, because when you have six and you add three more, you're gonna get nine because it's seven, eight, nine. You solved one part of the question. Look at the other part of the question. <laughs> These two numbers, they have a sum, a total of nine. six plus three, you said equals nine, right? Nine. But show us how those two numbers have a quotient of what? Two. So you have to make those two numbers part of what kind of a problem? Uh, huh? Division. Do, to show those two numbers as a division where the quotient is going to be what? Goes 
Look at you. Look at oh, no, 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 no. I did that wrong. I did that Tell us what you're doing. I'm taking, I'm dividing six. I'm dividing three to six. Yes. I'm dividing three to six. And I'm going to subtract to get my answer. No, you're not subtracting. Don't get, you're there. You're there, sweetie. You got the first part right. You said six plus three equals nine. So that those are two numbers who have a sum of nine, right? Now you want to show if these two numbers have a quotient of what? Two. Two. So how are you going to show those two numbers have a quotient of two? Which number is going to be the number inside the box? What do we call the number inside the division box? Uh, the, the dividend? The dividend. So write the dividend. What number is going, which of those two numbers is going to be the dividend? Three. The three or the six? The six. Make the, the dividend the six. Now what's the number on the outside? Three. What, num what do we call that number? The divisor. The divisor. So the divisor is? The divisor is, is which number here? The greater. No, the divisor. What number is it in this problem? Three. And the dividend is? Six. And what's the quotient? Two. You solved it. You know how many people can't do that? Grown-ups couldn't do that. But you know how you attack that? By logic. One last question, Mom. Okay. What state do you live in? What's the capital? What's the capital of the state you live in? Let people hear what you're saying. You're saying you live in where? In New York. And the capital of New York is? Um, Manhattan. Huh? Manhattan. The big capital? <laughs> I don't know what the capital of a, um, what a... Okay. Who's the, who's the governor of New York? I'm Mayor de Blasio. Who's the governor of New York? I would say the president of the Trump. Okay, your governor is Cuomo. His father was the governor also. Well, you're not paying attention. They don't teach us this in school. Ooh, say that for everybody. They don't teach us this in school. They don't teach us this in school. See what I'm saying? Okay, and here's the thing. Um, how many cups are there in a pint? Say that again. There's two cups in a pint. Two cups in a pint. I want you to, this is what I call a mnemonic, right? I want you to draw for our audience. Give me a, draw me a coffee cup. Let me see you draw a coffee like cup. Like a mug? Yeah, like a mug, yeah. Because what I want you to understand is when we can get our kids to love education, to start thinking outside of the box, I don't know how to draw. and to kind of use their other talents, <laughs> does she, like, she have other activities she likes to do? I don't know how to draw. Okay, okay, yes, okay. Mom? I asked her to draw a cup, right? Okay, so what's this on the outside of the cup? A handle. Say it? A handle. A handle, okay? Let me get the pen. Check this out. What was the first question I asked you related to this cup? I asked you how many cups in a pint. How many cups in a pint? And you told me the answer, right? Mm -hmm. You said there are two cups. Two cups in a pint. In a pint, right? Now, what if you didn't know it? What if you didn't know that? I'm showing you here, here's a way that you can say, okay, he said cup. Does the image of a cup come in your, in your head? It could. And you drew a cup, right? Now notice for your handle, you see her handle? Mom, look at the handle and tell me if you see anything in that handle that looks like a letter. What letter you see? Mom sees a C there, Mike. You see it? Mm -hmm. How many C's do you see? One. 
two. 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 You heard what she said? Oh. You see? You see the two C's? Uh-huh. Now watch this. Your whole stuff. Watch me make the pint appear. You ready? When mom drinks coffee, she puts sugar in it, right? She has a spoon or what they call a stirrer, right? So I want you to put a little stirrer in the cup, sticking out of the cup, next to, on the side where the handle is. Okay. This is what she did, Mike. You see it? She put the little stir in it, right? She can draw. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, what's your name, sweetie? Jadia. Jadia. Jadia? Is that J-E-D-I-E? -E? No, J-A-D-A. J-A. -A. Now watch that. What I'm going to do to her stir Mom, I'm going to make it a little bigger, a little thicker, right? Not mm -hmm. exactly. Now, Jadia, see what I did to your stir? Yes. Now watch this, Mom. How many cups in a pint, right? So you see this two, the two C's? That stands for two cups. Equals one pint. We're gonna turn the cup upside down. And what letter do you see now? Uh, 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 P. <laughs> you heard what he said? He said P, cause he sees the P. And what's the P stand for? Pint. You get it? Yeah. How's that? 